everyone. Welcome back to my Diamond Addiction. This is Valerie. Uh, I was contacted by Diamond Painting 911 and asked to review their book. I said, sure, go ahead and send me one. So they did. Uh, the first one they sent me was a misprint. In the middle of it, there was a random little chunk of a storybook. So I got that and I kind of chuckled a little bit and messaged Miss Coffee and asked her, hey, did you have a storybook in the middle of your your DMC chart book? And she said, no. So I sent her just a little video, kind of thumbing through and showing her the pages like this and then with the storybook in the middle. So we cracked jokes a little bit back and forth about, you know, if you get tired of trying to find the colors of diamonds, whatever, you could take time and read the story. Anyway, I contacted them and let them, sent them the same video, uh, and they sent me a new one. I received this a little bit ago, but my life has been crazy, crazy between court dates, court papers, doctor's appointments, whole bunch of garbledy gook, full-time job, raising Taylor. Uh, yeah, it just got a little crazy. So, I'm finally getting around to taking a look at this. Now, in the front, it does tell you that it is copyrighted by them. No part of this publication may be reproduced, distributed, or transmitted in any form or by any means, including photocopying, recording, or any other electronic or mechanical methods without the prior written permission of the author. So I'm hoping that them asking me to do a review is them giving me, you know, permission to record their book. If not, my bad, let me know. I'll take this video down. So this is, has all of the 2019 DMC color codes in it. Um, so this is the second edition. There's four different charts. I'm not going to read all of this to you because you're not toddlers and you don't need me to read it to you. I'm hoping that it's clear enough that you can pause it and read it if you want to. Every chart has a special column to glue drills next to each color. All right, so why would you use this book? Number one, drills without DMC numbers. We've all gotten kits where it has the color and the symbol, but there's no DMC number. I guess I can't say we all if you've never ordered. I don't know, from some of the, I get them mostly from New Frog and AliExpress, uh, where they don't include the DMC numbers. Well, now you've got 18 colors in this painting and no DMC codes. So they recommend that you use the Van Gogh chart to do this. And why they recommend the Van Gogh chart let me find it. I guess I could have labeled where they were so you didn't have to watch me strumming through this. Okay, the Van Gogh chart. The reason they, they recommend the Van Gogh chart for this is because they're in color families. So it'd be easier to go, oh, this is kind of a reddish-orange color. It's going to be through here somewhere. Or, oh, this is more of a purple color. It's going to be through here somewhere. And it can help you identify them greens easier. Now these aren't in numerical order, they're in color families. So I could, that's why that would be easier. And then, drills with unknown DMC color. Now I'm not sure what the difference is without DMC color or with unknown DMC color. To me they're kind of the same. But then they recommend that you use the Picasso chart. Why? It's all the colors on one page. And they've got the DMC number. I just hit my tripod, sorry about that. The color and then a place where you can you can glue in diamonds. And I'll show you some examples of this in a few minutes. Uh, if you get a diamond painting kit without drills. First of all, if I get a diamond painting kit without drills, I'm going to pitch a minor fit and make sure that they send me the drills. But let's just say that you don't. Uh, you can use your legend and then they recommend the Da Vinci 
chart so you can see you know it tells you it's 3733 and you can look right here and say okay yeah that does look like the color look on the on the canvas and say okay I need 2,000 of those and order them. Uh, diamond painting kit with substituted drills. I've had this happen one time. So it said it was supposed to have one color and they actually sent me a different color drills. Now at first I'm like these are the wrong ones. This is not gonna work. So I didn't have this book but I had the other one uh, that you see people use the tri or the fourfold together um, DMC chart and I looked up the one I was supposed to get and compared the ones I got with that they were just a slight shade off oh excuse me now I got the hiccups they were just a slight shade off so I decided to just go ahead and do the do the kit and it was fine now if it would have been you know I'm looking for a blue and all of a sudden this is turquoise that that's not gonna work but these were very similar so therefore I decided it would work Um, bad shade of drills. If you don't like a shade in a diamond painting, so you get this pea green color, you don't like it. You want something similar, but not quite that one. You can, you can use the charts, and I would use either the Picasso, because so you could get one that was similar to it, or the Van Gogh. You know, say you got this shade, and you're like, that's just a little bit too light to fit in there. I think I want to use this shade. You could order that. Or you got one that's this color and it was too dark and you wanted something a little lighter. You could order those. Drills with the same DMC codes between sellers. Um, we've all seen it. You get 823s from one person and 823s from another person. And they're off a little bit. One of them isn't quite right. Um, you can use the charts to help you. Basically, yes, this one matches. So what color is this one actually? I want to store it with something else and look through, find which one it is, and, and store it with those if you store your extra drills. And aesthetically pleasing chart. And it is. When you get the you start getting the drills on here, it's really pretty. Okay, so that's different reasons as to why you would want this. Now, this is the Da Vinci chart. These are in numerical order. So it starts with the Ecru, the Blanc, the B5200, white, and then 150, 51, 52, down. It goes all the way. So this particular chart is one, two, three, I love that color, four, five pages long. And it goes down here to 3866. So it's all the colors listed in numerical DMC order from least to greatest. The Warhol chart is all of these five pages combined into one page. So they're still all in numerical order but it's all on one page, so no flipping through all of the pages. And then we've got the Van Gogh chart that we discussed. Then, yeah, that one's one page, that's it. So the Van Gogh is in color families. And there's three, four, five, five pages to that as well. This is more similar to uh, the DMC fourfold book is more like this one where it's in color families. And then the Picasso chart is again one chart, one page in the color families. So technically I would think if you have a bunch of them that you're going to look for, I think I would use this page because you could just go over all of them until you found what you thought was the right color instead of scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through the other five pages. That's just my opinion. Now, I've heard people wonder, and that's the end of the book, um, I've heard some questions about this. First of all, when you start putting diamonds on all these pages, this book's going to get fat. Probably. Will they stick to the pages for any length of time? Great question. Um, 
I took the one that I, I got that had the storybook in the middle of it. And here we go. Here's what I did with it. I cut it apart. Yep, I did. I cut it apart. Why? Because I wanted to be able to have it lay flat while I was gluing diamonds on. Now here you can see where I started adding some drills to this. So far the colors are lining up beautifully. I didn't do a wide sample. As you can tell there are four different colors right there. So yeah, you can glue the diamonds. I used squares on these ones. Um, and I think I did 10, five and five. I did this with, okay, so first of all, I tried clear fingernail polish because when I had a spot on my canvas that the glue came off, I put some clear fingernail polish on there, waited for it to get tacky, stuck it to it, let it dry, it worked great. Um, clear fingernail polish on here. Don't do it. It soaks through this side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there. It soaked through this side and never got to a sticky stage, like a tacky stage where I could put it on there. It just pretty much dried and nope, no good. Don't do it. Clear fingernail polish, psh, out the door. Uh, so I got some really thin double-sided tape and I stuck it right here and I put it on and then I snipped it and then I put it on here and snipped it and it kind of just filled up the square right there. Took my diamond painting pen, stuck them on, now they're next to it. So you've got this color and what the drills look like. So if I, as I fill this in, matching the drills will become even easier because you will be comparing them to actual drills. I like that. I also like the fact that it lays flat. Here's what I don't like. See right there where my where my binder hole went? Cut off part of the number. In this chart, not such a big deal because, well, it cut off the one. This is 167 and 168. These are in numerical order. I know what these are. So here we go. We're flipping through pages. Flipping through pages. And let's go to the very back one here. Okay, like right here. It chunked off some of that. I don't know what those colors are. I don't know what these colors are. I could probably guess, but I don't know. And when you get to the last chart, it chunked out the whole number. Well, that's not gonna do me any good now, is it? So then I thought, what if instead of punching holes in it, you put it in one of these sheet protectors. So you can see right here, this is where I did my rounds because I wanted to see how they would fit. And remember, this is just the one page chart, so they're small. I just put some round ones over here. Again, just use the double-sided tape and stuck them on there. I did this probably I'm so sorry, Diamond Painting 911, I've had them for this long. I did this probably two weeks ago. And they're still on there. And it slides in and out of here very, very easily. So if I was comparing drills, I could pull this out and then I could put it back in. This would be the way I would recommend going. Because you're not gonna punch, as a matter of fact, look, you can see it right there. I hope that's focusing. The whole number's gone. You can't tell what that number is anymore. So in that, in that case, that's not gonna do me any good at all. So my whole book is torn apart and put into here. How did I do it? Great question, thanks for asking. Okay, so I took it like this and I opened it up and I took my X-Acto knife and I ran it right down the edge. Right down the edge. And as you get down more, then you just run it right down the edge and you're cutting two and three pages at a time. Next thing you know, you're at the back cover and you're done. That's literally all I did. I cut it apart. Okay, so I took a, actually took a ruler and put the ruler this way and then cut between the ruler and that so that it would be a straight cut and not because uh, 
Anytime I'm doing something precise, I start shaking. It's ridiculous. Uh, so I put a ruler down right there, and then I just cut right down the ruler. And by the time you're down into here, you got this part that's blocking it, your ruler here, and you're just cutting straight as an arrow. Psht, got it done. So now I have this book because, you know, the numbers aren't missing off of it. I didn't punch a hole in it. And I took the book that was messed up, you know, with an extra storybook in the middle, cut it apart, tossed the storybook part of it, and just put it in a binder. So yes, you can take them apart. You can put them in a binder where they will lay flat. And, you know, you get a bunch of diamonds on it, and it's just going to raise it up a little bit, but it's still in a binder. I would, however, recommend Sheet Protector Way instead of just three hole punching it. Hashtag preserve the numbers. Okay, I would like to say thank you again to Diamond Painting 911 for contacting me and giving me the opportunity to review this and sending me not one but two chart books with an additional storybook part. Um, I really do appreciate it when they, they ask me to do that. So, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I thank you all for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.